Today was my first day at COT. I'm trying to find a place to record because I don't want people all in my business, but also because I don't know if we're supposed to have our phones out right now. Um, I just finished unpacking in my room. I have grapeseed oil all over my face. So don't look at me like I'm crazy. Basically, all we did today was like formation stuff. As soon as it, as soon as I got there, they started yelling at me. Um, it wasn't anything scary. I actually started laughing. So they sent me back and made me take all my luggage and everything and go back and forth and back and forth until I started laughing. So that was fun. Um, so definitely don't laugh when you go. But the first day was pretty good. I'll try to keep you guys updated as I go. Um, I am sharing a room with three other girls, so it's gonna be kind of hard to record in between here and there. Um, I will take you guys in the room to show you our little setup and you know what to expect with like housing and dormitory com accommodations and stuff like that. So, but the first day we were just standing in the hot sun reading our Oxman, which is the officer training school manual. So be expected to know that like the back of your hand, don't lose it, don't lose anything they give you on your first day, and just don't stand out too much. Um, I'll tell you more details later, but I was also like the flight guide, so that was cool. I got to be the person at the front of formation, um, which made me stand out more, but I think I did that dutifully, and I got it done without getting yelled at too much. I messed up twice, but I mean, I, I've never done it before, so I'm bound to mess up, but other than that, it was a really good experience, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me go show you the room. Accountability officer reports to CQ desk immediately. Blue accountability officer reports to CQ desk immediately. It's me again. Hey. Wait, Sorry. say your name for me again. It's Zamaya. Zamaya with an X. Yes. almost lights out I'm just filling out our, some paperwork tomorrow morning we have to be up by 0 4 30 don't know what we're gonna yeah. do right. literally we, we get the wake-up call at 0 4 30 and then we have to be outside of our rooms at 0 4 30 in clothes preferably PT gear but as you can see I'm not wearing PT gear so should be interesting. I have no more to say. Got my little camel back. This thing comes in handy. I'm so thankful. That's not me. I know, right? <laughs> Today, every meal we had was from an MRE, and they were surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I didn't eat everything, because we also got our oxen today, and every time we had like a pause or anything, we had to have this in our hands, stand out of tension or parade rest, I should say, or at ease, I should say, actually. And just read this little booklet and know it like the back of our hands. So today was uh, an uninteresting day. Uneventful, I would say. But tomorrow should be better. And as we keep going throughout the course, then we get more responsibility and we understand what we're doing more. It'll be better. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, Wish me luck. So they're making us change rooms. <laughs> it's really hectic. We only have like 10 minutes to pack and go. <sighs> okay, so it is officially the end of week one. It is Sunday. We have the day to ourselves, kind of. We still have to wake up at 0430. I will wake up at 0420 to be ready in time. We went to breakfast 
at 0500 and then we came back and got to do whatever I slept probably shouldn't have wasted that much time sleeping because it is now like 0930 and we're about to go to lunch this early when no one's really hungry but when I get back I will do some homework clean up and get my room inspection ready because there's certain ways that we have to fold our shirts and put the drawers together and everything so I will do that and yeah I'm sorry I haven't kept you guys updated it's been really busy and hectic and I was expecting to get two videos out of this experience but it'll probably be one well it'll still be two videos but one like vlogging experience but um we also had to change rooms to be with our flight members the flight is basically just a grouping um, of about 16 to 18 people and we're each going to be assigned jobs some people were already assigned jobs but since our flight commander slash instructor isn't here who will be leading a lot of our lectures um, a lot of us weren't assigned jobs yet so I'm hoping to get the public affairs job so I can like tap my phone on me and take pictures and record some stuff so I can get give you guys more details about the experience here so I'm gonna get ready for lunch probably show you guys my whole outfit and stuff see you later Today is a new day, or not a new day, it's actually the end of the day, but another day at COT. And it is, I don't even know what day it is, I just know it's the second week, and it's Tuesday, I believe. The days run like so close to each other, but I'm so happy to say like this time is gonna come to an end soon. And I know where you're thinking like three more weeks, girl, like three more weeks is not soon, but. <sighs> I have to stay optimistic because I'm ready to go. This is a cool experience and I'm definitely trying to stay positive, but it got old really quickly. So <laughs> I was really excited to come in here, but now that I'm here, <sighs> um, we finally started our academic courses and I was thoroughly intrigued in the lecture that we had today. It was about um, team building. I like the lessons that we're learning. I think they're so applicable to not only the military life, but your life as a doctor, as a medical student, your life in whatever field you may be in. So I'm enjoying that. I'm tired of the DFAC, the way we have to go through the DFAC, because I have broken my habit of being a fast eater because it's not good for you. And I mean, you don't want to choke on your food as well as me trying to be like you know healthy and lose some weight um, I have been teaching myself to eat slower so that I'm giving my body time to determine whether it's full or not but here they make you eat your food so fast and you're just like frowned down upon if you're the last person eating so I'm trying to get used to that I don't want to get used to that though that's the problem <sighs> anyways I'm the PA person now or public affairs so I get to have my phone on me at all times I get to take photos and videos so hopefully I'll get some better content on this vlog and you guys can see a little bit more of what you're getting in your to yourself I definitely want to keep a lot of the details a surprise but you know some things are good to know because when I got here it was completely different than what I thought it was gonna be I have so much homework to get accomplished I never finished my pre course record requisites and now my whole flight is kind of like come on you gotta do it let's get it done and so I'm being held accountable for that but I'm just trying to stay positive and enjoy my time while I'm here but um, I can't wait till it's over I think you really have to just be in the best attitude for this I'm not a type of person who likes to be surrounded by a lot of individuals especially if I don't know them I am an introverted person I'm not shy or anything um, it's just I get severely drained by being around all these people all the time. Everybody's trying to skit their word or their idea and because of course they think it's the most important thing. So that's just the hardest thing. Or I don't want to say even say the hardest thing, but that's just the most annoying thing about being here. Like dealing with the conflicting personalities and all the type A personalities in the room. But 
regardless, I cannot wait until the weekend for no particular reason. I just feel like the weekend, you it's like, oh, another week's over. So I can't wait till the weekend comes. It's almost the middle of the week. So two days went by fast. I still want to carry this waking up this early into my into the start of my medical school career because that's how I want to study in the mornings. But oh, I pray that nobody will be yelling at me to wake up. So yeah, it's just little things that just irritate you. It's like you signed up for the military knowing that you were gonna be an officer, so you expected to get treated a certain way, but you still have to go through this indoctrination stage where you're like getting treated like crap for a oh, good while. So it's okay. Here's our dorm room. It's kind of inspection ready. Um, it's really hard to make the beds in the morning because this morning we were only given five minutes to get ready. I did not wake up in time, but I still got my teeth brushed and I got my bun done and I got my clothes on. So I feel like I was successful. Um, that is my bed. Of course, it's not made because like I said, I had no time. Um, I will keep you guys as updated as possible like I said it's really hard with my schedule <sighs> guys please don't come here thinking you're going to lose weight because they don't let you work out for the first week until you take the PT test the following week and I absolutely hate it if anything I've lost muscle mass and that's about it so of course my run was way worse than I expected because I hadn't done any type of physical activity for a whole week so I am going to start doing push-ups, sit-ups, whatever I can do while I'm here. I really wanted to lose weight. I'm not like big or anything, but last summer I gained about um, eight pounds out of nowhere. I just haven't been able to drop pounds and I, it's probably because I've been inconsistent. Um, but yeah, so let's let's do this. Bobby M and Jax is acting reckless. Call my ex and tell about my death wish. Won't apologize for being selfish. Lord forgive me. No, I cannot help this. Why have I never been corrected? Why am I less than what's expected? Call my ex and tell about my death wish. Bobby M and Jax is acting reckless. Yeah. I don't see a lot of things. Yeah. I don't lost a lot of love. Yeah. Finally, I lost my wings. So. I'm hoping we can rise and fall. Anytime I make mistakes is every time you throw you away. You say I'm on a childish path. You don't even. Hey, so hello guys. I have not recorded a video, a little clip, of anything since like, I don't know, the second week, maybe the third week, but it's the end of the fourth week. So I have like seven days in, or no, six days in a wake up left. And I'm so excited to be done, with, almost done with this experience because it has been so taxing. Um, there's been a lot of work and I've been super busy, which is why I haven't had recorded as many clips as I would like. But hopefully I have enough content to make, you know, a pretty decent video. Um, I'm in my long sleeve PTs, which you definitely will not need if you're coming to cot in the summertime because it is hot as crap. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm in the laundry room about to, it's almost lights out time. It's 2153. So lights out is at 2200, so I need to get my clothes out of here and make sure they're dry before lights out. Um, but while I'm in here waiting, let's have a chat. Look at me. I did get the job as a PA officer, and so as you probably will see in my intro, I got to record a lot of snippets of the whole class, and that was awesome. Um, so I, can, I was able to have my phone on me every day. Um, yeah, so that was cool. Also, last week, I think it was, yeah, last week, week three, I was the flight leader for the week, and it was really fun. It was, like, a lot of work. I had to do reports every night and just stay updated on everything. I had meetings every night. It was it was a lot, but um, I was flight leader, so I got pretty decent at drill and calling commands. I was struggling at first, and I'll probably insert a video here of me calling the commands Wait for it, wait for it. Now. Victor Flight Tinge Hut! With the exception of the guide on bear and the element leaders, if you're taller than the airman in front of you, tap them on the shoulder and move forward. Right. Hey! With no exception.
exceptions. If you are taller than the airmen in front of you, tap them on the shoulder and move forward. Left. Hey. Forward. Hutch. Hut. Two, three, four. Hut. Two, three, four. Hut. Two, three, four. Hut. Two, three, four. Call them left. Hutch. That was me calling the commands. Um, it took me a while to get the hang of it and calling everything on the right foot. Not the right foot, but you know, the correct foot. So that was that was fun at first. And I definitely got yelled at by MTIs because you, as the flight leader, as, as anyone in a leadership position in the military, you're accountable for all your people's actions. So that was fun too. But overall, it was a great experience. Um, we've had two tests. A briefing and a paper. I passed all of them. Um, the briefing I finished with flying colors because I like public speaking. What do you know? I ended up taking my twist out if you guys care. Probably not um, because they just started looking a hot mess and we had picture day on July 3rd which was yesterday and I didn't want to look a hot mess. So today is actually July 4th and you would think we would do a lot more than we did but our class has not phased up really so we only have OTS complex privileges which means we can go to the gym we can go to the paper click and stuff like that in APs but we can't go anywhere on base and we definitely can't go off base so we weren't able to do much for 4th of July day but we did go to the museum and we wore our blues and everything so everything is kind of dwindling down like everyone can see the light at the end of the tunnel so everyone's had a very positive vibe positive morale and I'm really appreciative of the fact that not only I'm about to go home, but that I've had this experience because in hindsight, like it was awesome. I learned a lot because you receive feedback from your peers every single day. You receive feedback from your superiors as well. And they make sure to tell you negative feedback um, because they're trying to help you grow to be a better person, a better leader and things like that. And so for me, Thank goodness a lot of the things that they were telling me, I kind of already knew about myself and there are things I'm trying to work on, but sometimes being so young, being only 20 years old in a position like this, like sometimes I get the I don't care attitude. And so my immaturity shows sometimes, but I'm definitely working on that and I'm definitely aware of that. And so that's the, one of the biggest things that I think I learned here, just to become more self-aware and always be working to improve yourself, which I think I already knew, but you know, it just, got in my head a little bit more. I'll definitely make sure this week to keep y'all updated. We actually have a quiz over the Oxman tomorrow, another one. No one's really preparing for it because we're done. Like, we're so done. But excellence in all we do. So I'm gonna go study. <laughs> Hey guys, I have four more days and a wake up left and I'm so ready to go home. Um, I am in the closet because my roommate's studying, I don't want to disturb her. Um, but today is Sunday and today we had a briefing. Um, the lady, the representative from HPSP came and spoke with us and answered questions and helped us fill out some paperwork. And it just really got me thinking as far as military medicine goes, I definitely want to be a part of the military, however, I'm so like conflicted because there are some changes that I want to make to healthcare as a whole and I just feel like I will be so limited if I stay in the military and try to make those changes. I mean, I don't know. What do I know? You can't I feel like you can't have as much as an influence as a military doctor in in the civilian world, but then again, what do I know? I would like to start my own clinic or, you know, some type of institution, and I feel like I might be a little bit more limited by being a military doctor. However, on the opposite side, I would love to provide care for the bravest souls of America, like provide care for not only them, but for their families who are also sacrificing. I would like to deploy and treat those soldiers who are literally fighting for our freedom. Um, that would just be 
an awesome opportunity but there's so many decisions and there's so many different factors to consider so that was a really good briefing and I'm glad that I got to learn more about the program that I am in which is HPSP if you don't know and if you guys have any questions about the program I'm willing to answer as much as I know but I only know so much and I am in the program but I feel like a lot of the questions I have I will get the answers with time and I really just can't why well, can't wait because I want to enjoy the next four years of medical school and just like take it all in and just enjoy it to the fullest but I cannot wait until I do start doing my military medicine rotation so I can see more of like what I'm getting myself into so yeah that was what we did today um, also, it is the last Sunday of my training, so I'm very happy about that. Um, for the weekend, we did get some privileges. We got to go explore base. So yesterday, my flight went bowling. I didn't go, but I did go to the BX with everyone. So that was cool, a nice way to get out. And now, since we do have these privileges, everybody's like not eating at the BFAC and they're going to Popeyes and stuff. But I have a goal to lose weight, so I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna continue eating this DFAC food that's pretty mediocre and it's cheap. So that's why I really don't mind. Tuesday is our flight dinner. I'm so excited. I twisted my hair up. It looks a hot mess. Ooh, wait, hold up. Ooh. <laughs> I twisted my hair up so it looks a hot mess, but hopefully I'll have like a cute little twist out to wear on Tuesday. And actually look like a girl for once, or feel like a girl, I should say, because I think I look like a girl. You know? <laughs> Boom, stop. But yeah, so it is over, guys. I'm outside by myself in freedom. No wingman attached, no camelback on. I am freaking free, and it feels so good. Got my luggage. Just waiting to go to the airport. I'm getting a ride with my wingmate. We're probably gonna get some lunch for um, lunch first and everything, but it just feels so good. Like, so good. I can't say that I'm gonna miss this place. I'll miss the lessons, but I'll remember the lessons. So it's not like they're ever leaving me. Um, but yeah, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. But it's gonna feel good to go home and move on to the next stages of life. Tomorrow, I am moving into my first apartment at 20 years old. That's freaking exciting. And then probably gonna be in a small category one hurricane. We'll see. Then I start medical school and life really begins. Everyone's really happy right now as we should be because this is an awesome moment to know that you like completed your mission, your task, and you did it with grace and eloquence. Bye, Bye girl. Be safe. <laughs> so I hope you guys stay with me on my journey. If you have any questions about anything I endured while I'm here, yeah. leave them down in the comment box below. Subscribe, comment, like, do all that. Okay, hey guys, so I'm at the airport and recording my last clip, having some good conversations with people. And we're just talking about our experiences and everything we've been through. I also met a fellow YouTuber while I'm here. Her name is Dr. Kinky Curly. She has some awesome advice. She's an awesome person, so I'll link her YouTube channel and stuff in the description box below, so check her out if you're a naturalista or anything like that. It'll be nice to go home and experience freedom and everything. Kai is officially over. I'm done done, and I'm ready to go home. Have a Sit down. Hold up. Hold up.